Bahram Yast regarding the Bahram Berethragna, the genius of victory. See Vendidad. Five. Eight. This yas can be divided into four parts. One to twenty-eight. The enumeration of the ten incarnations in which Berathragna appeared to Zarathustra. We see the same thing of Vishnu, right? That Vishnu is known through ten forms. No. Or, not 24, or whatever other number the particular Hindu text says. Um, as a wind, two. As a bull, seven. As a horse, nine. As a camel, eleven. As a boar, fifteen. As a youth, seventeen. As a raven, nineteen. As a ram, twenty-three. As a buck, twenty-five. And as a man, twenty-seven. Thirty to thirty-three. The magic powers given by Berathragna to his worshipper Zarathustra. You know, the person who mentions, the person who refers to, but the term worshipped um, doesn't necessarily mean that the person's treating somebody as a god, they're praying to them and that sort of thing. That's not necessarily that. Um, 3. 34 to 46. The magical powers ascribed to the raven's feather of striking terror into an enemy, the dispersing it, the raven being the seventh incarnation of Erethrogna, and four, forty-seven to sixty-four, the glorification of Erethrogna. Zero. May our harmonies be rejoiced. Well, who? Only this is the best of all good, and so on. I confess myself a worshiper of Mazda, a follower of Zarathustra. One, waits the Da'avas, and obeys the laws of Ahura, for sacrifice, prayer, propitiation, and glorification unto Havana, the holy and master of holiness, unto Verathragna, made by Mazda, and unto the crushing ascendant, a propitiation with sacrifice, prayer, propitiation, and glorification. Atha Ahu Ba'iryo, the will of the Lord, is the law of holiness and so on. One, one through five. One, we sacrifice unto Verathragna made by Hura. Zarathustra axed Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, which is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, It is Verathragna made by Hura, O Spintba Zarathustra. 2. Verathragna made by Ahura came to him first, running in the shape of a strong, beautiful wind, made by Mazda. He bore the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda, that is above health and strength. 2. Um, I, mean, I mean, 3. Then he, who is the strongest, said unto him, I am the strongest in strength. I am the most victorious in victory. I am the most glorious in glory. I am the most favoring in favor. I am the best giver of welfare. I am the best healing and health giving. For, and I shall destroy the malice of all the malicious, the malice of the Da'avas and men of the Yatus and the Pa'erkas, of the oppressors, of the blind, of the deaf. 5. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard. Namely, unto Verathagna, made by Hura. We worship Verathagna, made by Hura, with an offering of libations according to the primitive ordinances of Hura, with a ha'ama and meat, the barisma, the wisdom of the tongue, the holy spells, the speech, the deeds, the libations, and the rightly spoken words. Yenhe Hatam, all those beings of whom Ahura Mazda, and so on. Um, section two is six and seven. Six. We sacrifice unto Verathragna, made by Ahura. 
Zarathustra acts to Hramasta, a Hramasta, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities? Aramazda answered, Is Varathragna made by Hura of Svitama Zarathustra? 7. Varathragna made by Hura came to him the second time, running in the shape of a beautiful bull with yellow ears and golden horns, upon whose horns floated the well-shaped strength and victory, beautiful of form, made by Hura. Thus did he come, bearing the good glory made by Masta, the glory made by Masta, that is both health and strength. Then he who is the strongest said unto him, I am the strongest in strength, and so on, and I shall destroy the malice of all, malicious, and so on. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. Um, you'll remember this idea of um, prayers upon sacrifice upon. It's not that the sacrifice is to this entity. It's that the person's worshiping God or um, some other entity and they're doing it for the benefit of this. Um, they're enhancing the legacy, the memory. They're, um, one of the things for worship is the the reference to the energy, giving somebody authority without necessarily um, praying to such, but uh, section 3 is 8 and 9. We sacrifice unto Verdhragna, made by Ahura. Zarathustra axed Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, it is Verdhragna, made by Ahura, was better than Zarathustra. 9. Verdhragna, made by Ahura, came to him the third time, running the shape of a white, beautiful horse, with yellow ears and a golden caparison, upon whose forehead floated the ball shaped shape in strength and victory, beautiful form made by Hura, thus did he come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, that is both health and strength. Then he, who is the strongest, said unto him, I am the strongest in strength, and so on, and I shall destroy the malice of all malicious, and so on. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard. And we look at this, and we say that, um, um, just like in India, a lot, there's a lot of misunderstanding. Like, the whole, a, a whole main conception of Buddhism was not that he was denying, uh, you know, it's just like Buddha wasn't denying that there are gods or angels or something. He was just saying he wasn't, he wasn't one. Um, but... A lot of the texts, the Deva, see, see, people didn't jump to the conclusion, oh, this guy's a god. Maybe it's something that people worship. People worship a lot of things. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, as, you know, that treat is a god, but people do that with a lot of things. Um, but the term here, you know, the unfallen angel, basically, the laika, using the Arabic term light being, as I like to use the English phrase, although, um, Part four is, I mean, section four here is ten through thirteen. Ten. We sacrifice unto Verathraka, made by Ahura. Zarathustra acts to Hermasta. Hermasta, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, It is Verathraka, made by Ahura, of Spitma Zarathustra. Eleven. Verathragna, made by Ahura, came to him the fourth time, running the shape of a burden-bearing camel, sharp tooth, swift, stamping forwards, long-haired, and living in the boats of men. Twelve, who of all males in rut shows greatest strength and greatest fire when he goes to his females. Of all females, those are best kept whom a burden-bearing camel keeps, who has thick forelegs and strong and large humps, quick-eyed and long-headed, bright, tall, and strong. Thirteen, whose piercing look goes afar, and so on. Even in the dark of the night, he throws white foam along his mouth, well-kneaded, well-footed, standing with 
the countenance of an all-powerful master. Thus did Verthragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda. Section 5 is 14 and 15. We sacrifice unto Verathraga, made by Ahura. Zarathustra acts Ahura Mazda, Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, Is Verathragna made by Ahura of Svitama Zarathustra? 15. Verathragna made by Ahura came to him the fifth time, burning in the shape of a boar, opposing the foes, a sharp tooth he bore, a sharp jawed boar that kills at one stroke, pursuing wrathful with a dripping face, strong and swift to run, and rushing all around. Thus did Verathragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda, and so on. Section 6 is verses 16 and 17. 16. We sacrifice unto Verathragna made by Ahura. Zarathustra axed Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, is Verathragna made by Ahura of Spitma Zarathustra. 17. Verathragna made by Ahura came to him the sixth time, running in the shape of a beautiful youth of fifteen, shining, clear-eyed, then healed. Thus did Verathragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda, and so on. 7. Is 18 through 21. 18. We sacrifice unto Verathragna made by Ahura. Zarathus acts Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, it is Verathragna, made by Ahura of Spitama Zarathustra. 19. Verathragna, made by Ahura, came to him the seventh time, running in the shape of a raven that, um, below and above, and that is the swiftest of all birds, the lightest of the flying creatures. 20. He alone of living things, he or none, overtakes the flight of an arrow. However, well, it has been shot. He flies up joyfully at the first breath of dawn, wishing the night to be no more, wishing the dawn that has not yet come to come. 21. He grazes the hidden ways of the mountains. He grazes the tops of the mountains. He grazes the depths of the vales. He grazes the summit of the trees, listening to the voices of the birds. Thus did Verthragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda, and so on. Section 8 is 22 and 23. 22. We sacrifice unto Verathragna made by Ahura. Zarathustra ex Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most benefit spirit. Make of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Ahura Mazda answered, It is Verathragna made by Ahura. Ospita of Zarathustra. 23. Verathragna made by Ahura came to him the eighth time running in the shape of a wild, beautiful ram, with horns bent round. Thus did Verathragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda, and so on. Section 9 is 24 and 25. 24. We sacrifice unto Verathragna, made by Ahura. Zarathustra acts to Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one. Who is the best armed of the heavenly entities? Ahura Mazda answered, It is a Verathragna made by Ahura, O Spitama Zarathustra. 25. Verathragna made by Ahura came to him the ninth time, running in the shape of a beautiful fighting buck with sharp horns. Thus did Verathragna come, bearing the good glory made by Mazda, the glory made by Mazda. 10 is verses 26 and 27. 26. We sacrifice from the Verathragna made by Hura. Zarathustra acts to Hura Mazda. O Hura Mazda, most beneficent spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one, who is the best armed of the heavenly entities. Hura Mazda answered, It is Verathragna made by Hura, of Spitama Zarathustra. 27. Verathragna made by Hura came to him the tenth time, running in the shape of a man 
bright and beautiful, made by Master. He held a sword with a golden blade, inlaid with all sorts of ornaments. Thus said Varathrog to come, bearing the good glory made by Master, the glory made by Master, and so on. Section 11 is 28 and 29. 28. We sacrifice unto Varathrogna, made by Ahura, makes virility, who makes death, makes resurrection, who possesses peace, who has a free way. Unto him that holy Zarathustra offer up a sacrifice, asking for victorious thinking, victorious speaking, victorious doing, victorious addressing, and victorious answering. 29. Varathrogna, made by Ahura, gave him the fountain of manliness, the strength of arms, the health of the whole body, the sturdiness of the whole body, and the eyesight of the Kara fish that lives beneath the waters and can measure. A rippling of the water, not thicker than a hair, in the Ranga, whose ends lie afar, whose depth is a thousand times the height of a man. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard. And perhaps the kara fish is something that you eat and is, um, has nutrients that are um, 12. It's verse 30 and 31. We sacrifice unto Varathrog and made by Hurrah, makes virility, makes death, and makes resurrection, he possesses peace, it was a free way. Unto him did the holy Zarathustra offer up a sacrifice for victorious thinking, victorious speaking, victorious doing, victorious addressing, and victorious answering. 31. Varathragna made by Hura gave him the fountains of manliness, the strength of the arms, the health of the whole body, the sturdiness of the whole body, and the eyesight of the male horse, that, in the dark of the night, in its first half, and through the rain, can perceive a horse's hair lying on the ground, and knows whether it has from the head or from the tail. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. 13 is 32 and 33. 32. We sacrifice unto Varathragna, made by Hura, who makes virility, who makes death, who makes resurrection, who, who possesses peace, who has a free way. Unto him did holy Zarathustra sacrifice, asking for victorious thinking, victorious speaking, victorious doing, victorious addressing, and victorious answering. 33. Varathragna, made by Hura, gave him the fountains of virility, the strength of the arms, the health of the whole body, the sturdiness of the whole body, and the eyesight of the vulture with a golden collar, that from afar, as far as nine districts, can perceive a piece of flesh not thicker than the fist, giving just as much light as a needle gives, as the point of a needle gives. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. 14 is 34 to 40. We fat sacrifice unto Varathrogna made by Ahura. Zarathustra axed Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda was fed of his spirit, make of the material world. Thou holy one, if I have a curse thrown upon me, a spell told upon me, by the many men who hate me, what is the remedy for it? 35. Ahura Mazda answered, Take thou a feather of that bird with feathers. The Varathrogna of Spitama Zarathustra, with that feather thou shalt rub thy whole body, with that feather thou shalt curse back thy enemies. 36. If a man hold a bone of that strong bird, or a feather of that strong bird, no one can smite or turn to flight that fortunate man. The feather of that bird of birds brings him help, it brings him, it brings unto him the homage of men, it maintains in him his glory. 37. Then the sovereign of the lord of the countries, will no longer kill his hundreds. Though he is a killer of men, the he will not kill at one stroke. He alone smites and goes forward. 38. All tremble before him who holds the feather. They tremble therefore before me. All my enemies tremble before me and fear my strength and victorious force and the fierceness established in my body. 39. He carries the chariot of the lords. He carries the chariots of Orderly ones, the chariots of the sovereigns. He carried the chariot of Katha Usa upon his wings. The, runs the male horse, runs the burden bearing camel, runs the water of the river. 40. Him rode the gallant 
thra e ta ana, the smote as a dahaka, the three mouthed, the three headed, the six eyed, who had a thousand senses, that most powerful, fiendish drug, that demon baleful to the world, the strongest drug that Engra Ma'inu created against the material world, that destroyed the world of the good principle. For his brightness and glory I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard. And notice in all these we're um, referring these heavenly beings. They're deputizing power, knowledge, and presence. It's, but God is the all-powerful, all-present, whatever. So the prayer is to God, and, um, and then there's interaction with other beings. 15 is only 41. 41. We sacrifice unto Varathrogna made by her. Varathrogna confounds the glory of this house with its wealth and cattle. He is like that great bird, the Sa Anna, and he is like the big clouds full of water that beat the mountains. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. Now, unless I state as such, if I leave out one of the numbers of the verses, it's not that we're still not going through the sequence. Um, so I, I don't know if there's any of these yasts or whatever that I've left that out. Um, 16 is 42 to 46. 42. We sacrifice unto Verhrakna made by Ahura. Zarathustra acts Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda, most benefited spirit, maker of the material world, thou holy one. Where is it that we must invoke the name of Verhrakna made by Ahura? Where is it that we must praise him, that we must humbly praise him? 43. Ahura Mazda answered, When armies meet together in full array, O Svitama Zarathustra, asking, Which of the two is the party that conquers and is not crushed, that smites and is not smitten. 44. Do thou throw four feathers in the way. Whichever of the two will first worship the well shaven strength and Verthragna, beautiful of form, made by Mazda, on his side will victorious at victory stand. 45. I will bless strength and victory, the two keepers, the two good keepers, the two maintainers, the two who the two who, the two who, the two who forgive, the two who strike off, the two who forget. 46. O Zarathustra, let not that spell be shown to anyone, except by the father to his son, or by the brother to his brother, from the same womb, or by the Atharvan to his people. These are words that are awful and powerful, awful in assembly ruling, awful and victorious, awful in healing. These are words that save the head that was lost and chant away. The uplifted weapon. Now, some of these things are specific things, like say a, a prophet or someone else was given indication that this is a sign and this would result in that, uh, and you know that precedes this this event or something like that. But um, but the first, perhaps, the people who honestly, automatically turn to the right. Is a little bit different. Um, 17 is 47 through 56. 47. We sacrifice unto Verithrogna, made by Hera, who goes along the armies arrayed and goes here and there asking, along with Mithra and Rashnu, who is it who lies unto Mithra? Who is it who thrust his oath against Rashnu? Whom shall I and my might impart illness and death? Hermasta said, Oh, you know, this verse 48. If men sacrifice unto Verithrogna, made by Ahura, if the two sacrifice and prayers offered unto him, just as it ought to be performed in the perfection of holiness, never will a hostile horde enter the Aryan countries, nor any plague, nor leprosy, nor venomous plants, nor the chariot of a foe, nor the uplifted spear of a foe. 49. Zarathustra asked, What is it then? Ahura Mazda. The sacrifice and invocation in honor of Erythrogna. See, it's honor of, you know, made by Moth Ahura, as it ought to be performed in the perfection of holiness. 50. Ahura Moth answered, Let the Aryan nations bring libations unto him. 
Let the Aryan nations tie the bundles of Beresma for him. Let the Aryan nations cook for him a head of cattle, either white or black, or of any other color, but all of one and the same color. 51. Let not a murderer take of those offerings, nor a whore, nor a who does not sing the Gathas, who spreads death in the world, and withstands the law of Mazda, the law of Zarathustra. 52. If a murderer takes of these offerings, or a whore, or a who does not sing the Gathas, then the Verathrogna made by Hura takes back his healing virtues. You know, that, that's stuff like in the Bible that God prefers your piety or, you know, the offerings. Um, 53. Plagues will ever pour upon the Aryan nations. Hostile hordes will ever fall upon the Aryan nations. The Aryans will be smitten by their fifties and their hundreds, by their hundreds and their thousands, by their thousands and their tens of thousands, by their tens of thousands and their myriads of myriads. 54. There, Verathrogna, made by Hura, proclaimed thus, The soul of the bull, the wise creature, does not receive from man due sacrifice and prayer. For now, the Da'avas and the worshippers of the Da'avas make blood flow and spill it like water. 55. For now, the Da'avas and the worshippers of the Da'avas bring to the fire the plant that is called Aparasa, the wood. That is called Nemetka, 56. Therefore, when the Da'athas and the worshippers of the Da'athas bow their backs, bend their waists, and arrange all their limbs, they think they will smite and smite not. They think that they will kill and kill not. And then the Da'athas and the worshippers of the Da'athas have their minds confounded, and their eyes made giddy for their brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. Eighteen, fifty-seven, and fifty-eight, fifty-seven, were sacrificed unto Varathragna, made by Hura. I offer up Ha'ama, who saves one's head. I offer up the victorious Ha'ama. I offer him up the good protector. I offer up Ha'ama, who is a protector to my body, as a man who shall drink of him shall win and prevail over his enemies in battle. Now the Haoma, um, well, certainly the opium, ephedra, and marijuana can uh, produce certain experiences, and, uh, you know, there's some healing effect to those drugs, and there's some other things, like particularly in, like, the 37 other plant blend of the Haoma mixture. Um, some of those are intoxicating, some of those are health bringing, um, are maintaining or something, but, you know, more of the symbolism I'm turning to here, um, who shall drink, he shall win and prevail over his enemies, motto 58, that I may smite the enemy, that I may smite down this enemy, that I may cut in pieces this army that is coming behind me, for his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, 19 is 59 and 60, 59, we sacrifice unto Verathrogna, made by Hura, the prince and his son, and his sons, who are chiefs of Myriads, offer him up a bright. He is strong and victorious, is his name. He is victorious. Arid strong is his name. 60. That I may be as constantly victorious as any one of the Aryans, that I may smite this army, that I may smite down this army, that I may cut in pieces this army. And that is coming behind me. For his brightness and glory, I will offer up unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. You know, that saying, he is strong, and, um, you know, kind of like a, some of those magical formulas. Um, well, the word magic is misunderstood, but anyways. Um, but, you know, you pray as if something is the case, as something's going to be the case, that sort of thing. 20, uh, 61, 62, 61, we sacrifice unto Verathrogna made by Hura. Yatha Ahuv Erio, the will of the Lord, is the law of holiness, and so on. In the ox is our strength. In the ox is our need. The ox is our speech. In the ox is our victory. In the ox is our food. In the ox is our clothing. 
and the ox is tillage that makes the food grow for us. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. 62. We sacrifice unto Verathraga, made by Ahura, who breaks the columns asunder, who cuts the columns to pieces, who wounds the columns and makes the columns shake, who comes and breaks the columns asunder, who comes and cuts the columns to pieces, who comes and wounds the columns, who comes to make the columns shake, both the Devas and of men, of the Yaptus and Pa'erikas, of the oppressors, the blind, and the deaf. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him the sacrifice worth being heard, and so on. 60, uh, I mean, 22, is 63 and 64. 63, we sacrifice unto Verathragna made by Ahura. When Verathragna made by Ahura binds the hands, confounds the eyesight, takes the hearing from the ears of the Mithra Durgas, marching in columns, allied by cities, they can no longer move their feet. They can no longer withstand. For his brightness and glory, I will offer unto him a sacrifice worth being heard. Yatha Ahuv Erio, the will of the Lord, is the law of holiness. I bless the sacrifice and prayer, and the strength and vigor of Verathragna, made by Mazda, and of the crushing ascendant. Ashambahu, the holiness is the best of all good. And so on. Give unto that man brightness and glory, and so on. Give him the bright, all happy, blissful abode of the holy ones. Now, certainly, you know, there is competition for doing good and true, but, you know, But you know we're 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 working on behalf of other people's you know as 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 a community whether together or apart we're um, building each other's spiritual side. Um, so we have the wheel of sovereignty mentioned in the Farberdine Yost, and this is in verse. Verse 89, the turning of the wheel. So, somewhat new paths, some, somewhat, you know, kind of not. Um, same things being repeated. And, but then we have the mention of Asha, the archangel of, of what's good and true, right? Um, being the first one pronounced, the Asham Bahu, and, you know, some other, certainly angels come with certain formulas, or maybe they're um, material lord and spiritual master. 